It's cheesy cosplay. Um, most of you don't actually know my name, it's Elise. So, hello. Nice to meet you, some of you. But a lot of you guys are old friends and have been following me for over a year now, which is so amazing. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, wanted to do the Q&A, finally. I know it took me a really long time, but I have a lot of anxiety. And for me, it's just starting to do something. Once I'm in the middle of it, I normally am perfectly fine and comfortable. Um, I'm a Gemini and I think the other twin kind of like takes over. One's an introvert, one's an extrovert. So I make for a very fun, anxious combination of feelings most days. And that's on a good day. But either way, let's get to it. Okay, who is your favorite cosplayer and what's your favorite cos you know what i'm being dumb i can't fucking see although these are adorable and cute there's real purpose in them and they have these neat little things in the back so that it can adjust to your face which is really nice so they don't fall off when you're doing something crazy like head painting okay who is your favorite cosplayer? And what is your favorite cosplay from that person? My favorite cosplay, oh God. My favorite cosplayer is um, probably Queen of Luna, I think her name is. She is absolutely phenomenal. And as far as favorite cosplay from that person, um, she, anything that she did with, um, the X-Men characters. She is so freaking talented. Like, seriously, just go check her. I don't even want to, like, ruin it for you. She's fucking amazing. Um, also, Jessica Negri, I absolutely love her because, well, she kind of got me into this, and I don't know. She's, she's kind of weird like me, which I really enjoy, and maybe a few things in common other than that, but She's just weird, and I just felt like if she's confident enough to do it, and she had a lot of the personality traits that I wanted to emulate, <laughs> although I don't think she would agree that she has any personality traits to emulate, but I think she's amazing, and most people think she's amazing, and she's just so fucking confident, and I love that. I would love to do a shoot with her, so, so much so, Jessica, 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 Jessica. If you're out there, please, like, I would love to do anything with you, but a cosplay shoot works for me too. All right, next question. And I'm sorry if I get sidetracked. That's my mind. It's an interesting place. You'll just deal with it. Okay, um, how did you come up with the name Cheesy Cosplays? Um, actually, I freaking love cheese, and ironically, I am lactose sensitive, so that can be very... <laughs> sometimes it's worth it, damn it. Sometimes, sometimes it's worth it, I'm not gonna lie. It's the bubbles and everything. Sometimes for a really good goat cheese, it's just fucking worth it. Um, harder cheeses don't really bother me as much. But um, like um, the Parmesan and even cheddars, aged cheddar is even better for me. But the soft cheeses, sometimes it's worth it. But um, a really good friend of mine, I thought about how she would describe me. And the first thing I thought of and actually heard her in my head saying is like, oh, you love cheese. And yeah, she's right. And I love the insinuation of the cheesy cosplay the cheesy cosplay is being like you know not the best cosplay and then you come on my page thinking you're just gonna see shitty cosplays and then bang ends up being at least halfway decent in my perspective hopefully from yours too who knows okay next one let's see what steps do you take to have such beautiful skin well, thank you. I appreciate that. Although the acne scars and this zit and this growing zit down here doesn't really do justice to what she just said. 
but I really do appreciate that um, compliment, truly. As far as what I do, um, as far as on my body, I literally just put olive oil. I base myself every fucking day in some just pure fucking olive oil, nothing fancy. If it's a little dry, um, then I might add a little shea butter just to kind of seal that shit all in. But otherwise, I really just use olive oil. A lot of other things have so many bad chemicals in it for you, so something as natural as possible is normally the route I go. And um, as far as like something more like store-bought, I've been recently using a few products um, that I really, really enjoy. And one in particular that's helping getting rid of all of these acne scars that I developed in fucking December because I'm a human being. And yeah, I never really had um, acne on my cheek before. And then, I don't know, hormones, whatever. Something happened and this was the result and I'm still getting rid of them. But the product that I'm using right now is working really, really well. So, but I don't like recommending anything unless I've been using it for months. So we'll see if it keeps going, keeps getting better. And then we'll go into that if, if you even fucking want to know. Moving on. Um, who taught or influenced or encouraged your ability to sing? Ooh, that is a loaded question. Um, I really encouraged myself. I'm very private. Um, that's another story of why I can be so private. But I love to sing in the shower. Um, best acoustics ever. I think everybody knows that though. And as far as anybody who influenced me, oof. Um, Phantom of the Opera. The very first time I saw Phantom of, Phantom of the Opera, it was honestly one of the most amazing, emotional experiences of my life. And um, it was actually my first cassette tape. And I remember playing um, the theme song, Phantom of the Opera, over and over and over and over again, and just singing along with it. So I actually have a more operatic voice. So it can be kind of difficult for me to sing the pop music today, but yeah, I get, I get by, I get by. Um, but yeah, so I, I do have a big voice and I do plan on doing more singing. Like I said, it's difficult for me to find a lot of current music that fits my voice very well. If you have any um, suggestions, I would love that, especially um, trying to think what the hell do we do I even like to sing Whitney Houston I love to sing Whitney Houston I can mimic her pretty well um at least in my personal opinion but um yeah give me some ideas based on like Whitney type songs if there's anything current that has like that type of a voice yeah I would love it um I try to mimic Christina She's definitely helped me with like making my voice bigger and deeper and fuller because dude, girlfriend can sing. But um, I, can't, I, I can't sing like her. I try though, I try. But um, yeah, let's move on. Do you attend multiple cons and sign autographs? Um, I'm a very shy person. The, I'm, like I said, the introvert, extrovert thing. I can be like extraordinarily outgoing and then I can be so quiet and shy. Um, you know, I feel like every nerd's been bullied. Whole, whole different topic. Um, but I, I was fucking bullied. And because of that, it can be hard for me to jump into new situations. So I did go to Denver Comic-Con two, two years ago now, and I enjoyed it. And like, it was really cool to see all the costumes and everything, but I had never been to a con. And I feel like I probably would have enjoyed myself a little more if I went with like a veteran that like could direct me to things um, and kind of like show me the ropes of a con. But 
Um, as far as signing autographs, that would be fucking cool. And I do believe if I what if I were to go to another um, con, I think it would be really cool. <laughs> and also uh, pander to my anxiety if I could have a. Uh, booth of my own. I craft and all sorts of things so it wouldn't just be like me. But um, yeah, I make all sorts of things, all sorts of nerdy things, um, DIY, all that type of shit. So I would love to have a booth and then I could have like a little photo area and we could take pictures together with you fun dudes and all you want to be fun dudes and all you haters because you know you love me. But once again, that's another story for another time. Moving on. Once again, I get sidetracked. My eyes move a lot. They're ginormous, so it draws even more attention to them, but either way.